Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 51.6, and we're still on firmware, firmware 3.0, still in DJ mode. All right, next up, uh, we have enabled reverse playback. This is pretty fun. Um, you can, we'll start back at the beginning of the track. We can play. It's actually playing reverse right now. But you can hit the reverse. And you can do like, this is a 303 style. So you can kind of bounce between you go forwards or backwards. So you can do some fun things. So let's kick it back to the beginning of the track. You know, you want to go backwards. You've, you're taken care of in spades. So let's go back to the beginning. Again, you can just do some of this stuff pretty easily. Let's say we play both of these. We can get that going. So you can just pick whatever track you want and go backwards. It's going to use whatever you did last. So um, if you hit the BPM sync button here, you can switch between whichever one is going backwards. So like this, I'm just going to hit play. So we just went backwards. I come over here. It's not, you see the arrows switched. If I hit the BPM, I can then play here. I can switch between which goes backwards. So kind of a cool effect. Ah, man, I got to stop. I, I will break that habit if I just use DJ mode a lot. Anyway, uh, next up. Let's actually exit out of DJ mode this time because next up is we can enable what type of time stretch we use. If you hold shift and go to utility while you're just in the normal mode, you can go to system and under general, you can go down to the bottom here. I think it's near the bottom. Yeah. Uh, DJ mode, uh, time stretch type. You got vinyl, backing, ensemble. So if you think something sounds better, one over the other, I would say just kind of play around with it, see which one you like and play with that. Um, while we're here, also got bend sensitivity. This is important for just how much of a range you like want to have as you do the bend. So if you're looking for just a little bit, you probably want it at 10. If you want it higher, you go to 200 and you can get like more uh, bend stretching effect basically. So this will be something you just have to play with and practice. You'll kind of get a feel for it as you do it and what works for you if you're trying to have a track catch up or slow down to keep things in sync. Um, but if you use the sync mode and stuff, probably not as much of a thing to worry about. Um, let's see, what else do we have here under DJ mode? Um, oh, this is a fun one. I like this. Let's go back in. If you hit mark while you're in DJ mode, I believe it's mark, yeah, you can switch over to see your bus. And you can change buses. And as you can see, like we just switched over, but this allows you to, if you hit mark, you can keep this loaded while you're playing something. Wow, we got a lot going on. Let's stop. So uh, as you can see, like we just dumped out, but um, if we play this again, go to mark. Uh, what? Uh, it must have like a. There we go. I was just on bus two, and the routing must be on type B. But you can keep a lot. Hitting mark allows you to keep the screen up, so you can play with your knobs and not be changing your volume and stuff. So super handy. I like it. Um, what else we got here? We can add enable to mute. Uh, enabled to mute during sample playback while holding down the shift and reverse button, press pad 13 or 12. So I have not played with this, so let's just see if it works the way I think it would. Start from the beginning. We go shift reverse. Oh yeah, nice. So we can just like do a, if you're DJing and you just need to stop uh, mute a track, but you want it to stay in sync and you don't want to be messing with the knobs here for your levels you can just uh emergency mute q 
keep your other track going. And you see it's flashing. I guess that's telling us it's muted and still playing. Yep, it's still playing. All right, and it's changed color, so that must be indicating that if it goes orange, that's how you know it's muted. All right, I think that's pretty good. It gives us a quick uh, ability to mute, and you can probably still have your mark going for messing with effects, so you can get maybe some uh, DJ-style sounding cuts or whatever. Uh, what else we got here? Enabled to select level curve characteristics. While holding resample, press the value knob. Uh, resample, press the value, fast cut, curve linear, curve square. All right, I'm just, I'm assuming that these are for your crossfader down below. How quickly, <clears throat> excuse me, how quickly you can cut between these. So if you want it to like be something where you go super fast and you just want to like be able to play, like do like quick, quick uh, chop sounds, like a DJ scratch or something like you probably get some scratch pads going like a noise or whatever and just have some quick scratches. That's cool. Um, what else we have enabled to change BPM display to integer or decimal press pitch speed multiple times or press the value knob. Well, value knob is pitch speed. Okay. I, I see. So I don't know what they mean by pressing the value knob per se here. Probably you have to do, be in the right mode or something. But if you hit pitch speed, you can see it's cycling between a integer, an integer with hundredths values, or an integer with tenths values. That's handy if like you need to get into very fine tuning what the BPM is uh, of your track, and you want to make sure you're keeping you know keep things in sync so that they don't get out of time. That's pretty handy. And it allows you to, if you're playing with somebody else, you can tell them, like, I'm at 95.8 BPM. All right. Well, I'm going to end it here and uh, just say, guys, keep making music. If it sounds good, it is good. And peace.